Bonjour tout le monde. My name is Denis Coudineau, and I have the pleasure today to present to you Jusqu'au bout and how Jusqu'au bout can prepare your students uh, with DELF testing. I'm now sharing my screen and I want to share with you also a few ideas about how Jusqu'au bout can make that direct link with uh, the DEV Scolaire et Junior. So here we go. Uh, first of all, let's let's go back to the creation of Jusqu'au bout and what we were trying to do with the resource. Uh, Jusqu'au bout has been has had has had the intentions from the start to be perceived as a fair and inclusive resource uh, and differentiated to meet the needs of all learners. So therefore, no matter what level of proficiency you had, you can find your place uh, in this great resource. It wanted to be also suitable for all current programs, whether your learners were in core French, extended French, or French immersion. We were targeting a, a high school level, and basically, no matter the program, we wanted it to be suitable. Uh, student success is redefined in Jusqu'au around the CEFR levels. It offers basically an action-oriented approach and authentic tasks, authentic situations, and uh, of course, uh, texts that were uh, based from authentic situations. And these are front and center throughout the approach. Let's talk about the Delph Scalaire now. And Delph has uh, become part of our um, designs, if you want, and part of our culture. Since 2009, nearly 70,000 Canadians have taken their Delph. Uh, from a metacognitive point of view, we can say really that it has a phenomenal value for people who succeed. They have a real sense of belonging and knowing exactly where they stand in language proficiency. It also serves as a great pedagogical uh, tool. It has pedagogical value in a sense where it influences backwards design uh, when we are planning. And it also makes it possible to promote the growth of four major language skills, uh, compréhension orale, compréhension des écrits, production écrite, and production orale. Now, I, uh, Jab, in, uh, Jab, if I want to say like this is a friendly uh, name for Jusqu'au bout, is an ideal tool to prepare for the Delphi uh, in an implicit way. Uh, just going through the text mm -hmm. and going through all of the components, you are already preparing or helping your learners uh, towards the Delphi. But we wanted to be make it a little more explicit. So at Pearson and with the others, we wanted to create that direct link uh, to, to the Delphi. So the latest additions or resources are, are inspired by the Delphi in order to help your students who will actually do their Delphi. In, in our, and the purpose is really as simple is to make them feel more confident and better prepared when they're gonna show up out there. Now, for those who will hesitate and maybe perhaps never take their Delph, it also provides an opportunity for self-assessment and it engages your learners uh, in very valuable learning activities. Now, basically the organization that you are going to find on the website and we will we'll be there in, the, in a few seconds, uh, first of all, what we're really encouraging you is to get into the diagnostic area. The diagnostic segment will permit you to have a diagnostic assessment for A2, B1, and B2, which are the most popular levels when we're talking about uh, DELF testing worldwide. The goal is to provide an informed student choice to help them really identify where they should be testing. It also provides you with an, an area for work within the whole uh, area or the whole work that you can find in Jusqu'au It also provides for you a structured and differentiated model and provides for a constructive teacher-student collaboration about making the learner improve. The levels that we are uh, providing for DELF testing are A2, B1, B2, like I mentioned that are the most popular ones right now. And basically what you're going to find in there are preparatory questions for the following fields, comprehension orale, comprehension des écrits, so oral comprehension and reading comprehension. And there are gonna be proposed situation based on the oral text and the written text to permit students to uh, also produce. So production orale, production écrite. Uh, they are inspired, like you can be inspired through all the text that you find in Jusqu'au bout, but also there are, there are brand new texts that have been created that are adapted for levels B1 and B2. So without hesitation, we're gonna go straight to the website and we're gonna see what it looks like within the, the structure. 
We are now on the home page of Jusqu'au and I want you to uh, illustrate how to navigate to go and discover this area. So I'm going to direct you to Ressources Pédagogiques and we're going to go to explore and this is going to bring us to the page where you can find the resort. Like previously mentioned, I want you to direct your attention now to the test diagnostic. So we're going to open this area and you're going to find out in this area that we can prepare students and determine which should be their zone of development. So I'm just going to show you what you can be doing in there. And basically, uh, you have a démarche, if you want, that is prepared for you to determine whether my learner is at that level, maybe that my learner is not quite at that level, or maybe my learner surpasses the level. So what you're going to find in there is that all the components that you would do on the Delphi are going to be illustrated. You're going to be seeing uh, test de compréhension orale, test de compréhension des écrits, test de production écrite, test de production orale et d'interaction orale, which is re really what reflects out there. And you, this diagnostic test is going to help you determine what level of proficiency is my learner uh, beyond that. So the whole démarche in diagnostic is highlighted out there. It serves two purposes. The first one is to find an area that you should be working with them in Juscobu, but it also should serve uh, to determine which DELF testing they're going to be doing. Uh, throughout the whole document in there, you're going to see that there's a fiche d'activité pour les élèves, they have transcript in there, and you also are provided with corrigé. I will now navigate and show you how we can get in those uh, areas about preparing learners to, uh, to the DELF. So you're going to see an area called Scénario Préparatoire Canadien pour le DELF. A, uh, what you're going to find out in there and that there are two sets of texts, Jeunes Entrepreneurs et Vivre Autrement, which have inspired their oral texts and written texts in both of those areas. And uh, Jeunes Entrepreneurs will serve to prepare for A2 and B1 whereas Vivre Autrement is going to help prepare learners uh, towards uh, B1 and B2. Now let's go discover what we can find in uh, Jeunes Entrepreneurs at the B1, for example, just to get an idea a little bit about how this is going to happen. First of all, I want to show you the structure. You're going to see that the, the, the DELF structure is, is appearing throughout the whole thing. Comprension orale, and you're going to see the structure with uh, six different texts and for each text you're going to find an audio fiche de l'élève and the transcription of the text that you are hearing you're also going to see a whole segment on compréhension des écrits with the same logic one which is a pdf to help you understand le déroulement how the the test might happen and with a series of six different texts and a pdf where the learners can find the text and also the question and like you would have in a normal uh, DELF uh, structure, you're going to have your production orale with uh, the, uh, the déroulement, if you want, about the, the whole structure and some uh, theme, thematics, uh, thematic areas where they can go and produce. And finally, where you, uh, once you finish with production orale, production encrète, what you have in uh, fiche d'évaluation, you're going to find an area where the learners uh, can do a lot of self-assessment and reflection about how to improve and to do it better. So let's go discover quickly, or, or if you want briefly, how we can uh, interact in this area. So first of all, the, you're going to see an area where we're helping the teachers uh, understand a little bit what happens in Comprension Rale. If you are a Delft Corrector Examinator, well, this is going to be more like a refresher, but if you have never participated uh, in the Correction, of the DELF. Well, this is a tool to understand a little bit what are the learners going to go through. So it helps you prepare them better. And so the whole uh, pathway to, uh, to uh, is out there. It also, uh, we have created for you a corrigé so that uh, you don't, don't need to go find yourself and do all the work that the learners will do. But this should serve for you to uh, have a, a series of answers and correct answers and to provide them with feedback about like where they went wrong and so whatsoever. So this first tool is designed for the teachers to support the learner. So now I want to uh, illustrate with you what it could look like from a learner. And you're going to see in this area 
a couple of uh, elements to consider. So for example, uh, you're going to go discover the fiche de l'élève. So let's go see what this looks like. So there's always an invitation to say, okay, you're going to be listening to an audio. And here are three basic questions for you to consider. And you're going to see that the advantage from a pedagogical point of view is that the answers have like a, got a different feel. Uh, we're asking them either to check boxes or we're getting them to answer with a question or we, we ask them to provide a few opportunities. And now when, once the learner has gone in there, there is an audio to that, that is accompanying the- Jeunes Entrepreneurs. Dis donc, Léo, tu as entendu parler du concours Jeunes Entrepreneurs? Bien sûr, Ayla. Tout le monde en parle. C'est une excellente occasion si on a le profil d'un entrepreneur. Oui, si on gagnait 10 000 pour lancer notre entreprise. So you see that there is a, a text out there that is reflective or if you want inspired by what the, it might feel like at the, uh, during the DELF, but is also uh, texts that are provided in Jusqu'au bout that you can use within the classroom. And obviously, like you would find in a, in a true DELF, we're also providing you with a transcript of the text, the, the oral text that they're listening. And what you find in here is a conversation. So it's a great tool uh, that serves for the DELF and whatsoever. And now I want to illustrate to you uh, la compréhension des écrits in the same logic out there. So uh, let's look at an example of a text. And basically what you're going to find in here is that the learner is confronted to a series of short texts, uh, Votre étude de marché. So basically this is an invitation to read all of the different texts. And then there's a series of questions that are directly linked out there. And like we had in the oral component, there is a déroulement and corrigé that is provided to the teacher to support that. Uh, if we continue out there, you're going to see that uh, production orale et production écrite, you have um, the same logic about the pathway, what the, the déroulement, what it looks like when they're out there. And the students are provided with a series of uh, two, the quatre de sujet, uh, where they have options out there. And basically, when they're reading the carte de sujet, there's a task that is going to be accompanying out there uh, what is expected from them in terms of oral production. So it's an invitation to be able to speak about the whole thing. Same thing when we are a production in kit, we are providing the learners with a, a little situation in there and then with a specific task about uh, how to respond and what they, they think about the, the situation that they, has, they have just read out there. Some of those are really inspired like you would find in the DELF. They, they feel a lot like the DELF. Sometimes because we are in the classroom, there's also uh, some twists where we're providing them maybe a few more uh, leeways out there, but these are great tools for you to use. Uh, finally, I want to illustrate to you uh, les fiches d'évaluation you'll see that you can use them in Word and in uh, PDF. Word has the advantage where you can modify these things, adapt them to your classroom. And this is this, the whole segment on evaluation here is really about like uh, assessment and self-assessment. Uh, throughout the, the prospect, throughout the, the DELF testing that you did, how did it go? Like, how did it feel? And what are areas where you feel that you did really well? And what are areas where you still need to improve? The logic in this whole assessment out there is to make the direct connection to the components of the DELF test, but and also reflect about how they feel they uh, they have produced out there. And clearly, like we have done through the hall, the whole area in Jusqu'au bout, we want them to be able to self-assess uh, in uh, their levels of confidence. Finally, just a few words to wrap it up. I want to thank you for paying attention. I hope that you go discover Jusqu'au bout. And we all feel strongly at the uh, Jusqu'au bout and Pearson team that this resource can really help your learners uh, achieve success at the DELF. And we uh, truly, this is an invitation to go discover Jusqu'au bout and its latest components. Merci beaucoup tout le monde. Bonne journée.